Okay, I'm back. Uh, long time no seen. Um, have done much paint job lately, but I have been working on my heating system, so I will give you an update on that. Uh, my heating system has some components here. Um, let's start with the basis. I'm running, as you can see, with a Raspberry Pi. It's the first generation. So no holes, not that much memory, but it should be enough. I will switch to uh, version A because I don't need the Ethernet and I don't need multiple USBs and I want it to be as uh, power efficient as possible. So I will switch switch to that. Um, as you have, um, perhaps remember, I did work on the Pi earlier, and I did use it uh, to uh, power an LCD, HD48, something like that. Um, that time I did use the LCD hardwired to the GPIO. Uh, this time, let's see if I can turn this over. This is not finished. I have a couple of things more to do. This board here. Uh, I should probably turn this off, but let's do it like this instead. Uh, this board, as you can see, there is not many wires. It's only four. The extra one is for the interrupt. Uh, I did bought Adafruit's own. Uh, E2C, I2C board. I did think that was too large, so I did make my own. It's not that hard. Uh, I have CNC machines, so I used that one and I compiled this new board. I did a miss though with uh, some of the wires, I had to do them afterwards, but I will redo the board afterwards. So it's small and efficient, and I did change some components I used to interrupt on the MCP 23017 and uh, let's see if I can get some picture uh, I have also added pads so I can have more than the existing five buttons I have changed it to so I can use all eight uh, as you can see I have some buttons there five of them connected to the board five buttons one LCD everything goes on four wires ground, the power, and the two e to I2C wires, and also the clock wire. The clock wire is connected to one of the GPIO ports on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, that's how the LCD is built up. I have some LEDs there as well. Um, I, have my, I will connect them afterwards because this is the main product of my heating system at the moment. Um, this machine will control the heat, the, the water based heat to my house and to my pool. And as you can see, there is some LEDs, uh, two 3x, and some relays. Um, what this does is it uses uh, five GPIO from the Raspberry Pi. Three to the relays, those are made for just switching on and off the pumps. And the triacs, the two of them, are meant for the um, controller unit for the heating, uh, whereby I control the motor directly by the triacs. The, the motor is based upon a 24 volt AC, so that's why I use it. I could have used relay as well, but um, old fashioned and it works, so I will use this this time as well. Um, a couple of LEDs, the power LED is lighting now, and two LEDs for the tracks and three for LEDs, three for the relays. This is hooked up with uh, that wire. Uh, I'm still missing the power system for it. I will use two switch. Power supplies connected to the transformer and power it. I used the liner 7812-7805 before, but uh, they got too hot and I will not use them anymore. So I have ordered a couple of them from eBay. Uh, so I will actually power the Raspberry Pi from 
the breakout board instead. Uh, in that end I have two connectors, one incoming for 12 volt and one incoming for 5 volt. Uh, that one outgoing to the um, motor for the heating system, that one is incoming 24 volt AC and the rest there is just normal relay contacts. The relays are made for to stand at least 4 amps um, 20 to 20 volts I will not use that high because uh, the laminate isn't done for it so um, let's see if I can get it away in this end here as you can see three of them I to C expanders one of them I connect the display the next one will be for the one wire I to C expansion. Uh, I will probably make a new card there as well so I can fit it on the top because at the moment I can't. Um, this one will handle all the uh, one wire sensors. I have quite a few. Um, a lot of temperature sensors and a lot of uh, other sensors. Uh, controlling, I'm measuring the water flow, I'm measuring uh, the position of the heating machine. This is it. As you can see, one wire card and the sensor to get the position. It will actually move the valves to control how much heat will go into the house or into the pool. Uh, that's why I have the one wire. I'm not using the hard coded or using the GPIO directly to this system because I like the well, I to see it works really really well. Um, I cannot connect it now and show you because I actually forgot to attach the 3.3 volt uh, connection, so it doesn't get any power. It's too bad. I really needed that. Um, I have connected to the machine now. As you can see I have at least one device attached, that's the LCD board. See if I can get this up and running. The LCD board is at the moment blank. Uh, whoa! The program is running. Uh, I'm not finished with the program yet, but uh, it works. You can go around the different things here, um, but I still have some things to do. Uh, but hey, it works. That's one thing. Let's see if I can show you the other one. Just need to set up the variables. And this board. There you can see them cycling through. So it works. All but one triac is working because I <laughs> turned the lead the other side around so it doesn't show up. It actually works, but the lead isn't showing. So uh, that's my heating system. I uh, come far. I have a little bit more. This card is the version 3. Uh, I have used my CNC mill for it and uh, let's see if I can get some focus 0 0.4 millimeter large are they uh, works really well some wires I have to attach because I can't uh, route it all it's a single sided board so it's really tight a lot of components on a small area and it works and as you can see from the start, this is the schematic. Still some things to do, but it works, so... Yeah, this is part one. I will probably do a part two when I got the code running and I mounted the things. I hope to mount this this weekend. But you never know. Depends on what comes up. So, talk to you next time. Bye.